Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I just want to display this new feature that we put up on the site. And we just call it the Tennis DFS Scoring Calculator. Now I know what you're thinking. Why on earth would you need to do this? Why on earth would you need a DFS Scoring Calculator when DFS on DraftKings, they just do it for you, okay? Because sometimes they don't. Sometimes what happens is, is a, a match is postponed, or delayed or whatever, and you'll have a uh, a player that plays a match against a um, against like a lucky loser or something like that. And what, what DraftKings does is they just wait and and it delays the the inputting of those scores for sometimes hours. And for a lot of reasons, you might want to know beforehand, you know what what the score is, like what to root for, what lineups are dead in case you want to hedge or, or whatever. So just, I created this scoring calculator that if you have the raw data, you could put it in here and it automatically calculates the DFS scores for you. Now, just um, as far as tennis goes, the site that I like to use for this is SofaScore. So if you go to SofaScore, for example, you know, if you go within tennis, it will give you like, um the uh like the raw scores uh the scores and then if you um what you call it i guess it's not completely final yet but when it is final yeah you can go into statistics and it'll show you everything you need the aces the double faults the uh the, the games won games lost uh, everything pretty much you need see games won games lost uh break points converted things like that so when you have this raw data, you can go into this DFS scoring calculator and just input this. Now, I haven't actually tested it here on the site, so we're going to kind of do this live and hope this kind of works. So let's pull up an actual uh, tournament or whatever, and let's look at, I don't know, Marcus Geron, right? So we're going to input this raw data from Marcus Geron from here and just make sure it adds. Um, now you'll see that there are two tabs, a three set match and a five set match. The, the rules are different. The scoring is different. So hopefully it works with both of them, but we're going to test the three set match first. So again, what you have to do is just enter the raw data here in the gray. And let's see if this works. So it's going to be Marcus Rom reading it off from the side. So we have Sets won. He won in straight. We had two sets won, zero sets lost. Let me see, kind of putting it over here. Games won. He won six, four, seven, five. So it says 13 games won. Games lost nine. Aces, uh, what's it got? Two aces. Good. Double faults one. How many breaks do we have? Four, it says. Zero bagels. Uh, did not retire. Opponent did not retire, did not retire, did not retire. And let's see if, in fact, he scored 71 fantasy points. 70. Ta-da. 71.3. So it does, in fact, add. So, again, this is not the biggest deal in the world, but those times where you do need to get those scores in, before and DraftKings is still way behind with respect to anything. Maybe your data source provider is, is is slow. Again, usually what happens is when you have that lucky loser uh, situation, then uh, you know you might get a delayed um, you might get a delayed uh, score. It's good to know what it's going to be. So uh, this is the tennis DFS scoring calculator. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I would do this quick video.